there are all these other spirits left in the pool, like Ember and the Void. If you wanted to go for that route, like the chains are eventually nice. A lot of smiling, a lot, oh, of, a lot okay. of... Yeah. Okay, all right. This is, a, this is a really good Kunkka pick. Um, in the old Goods Beyond the Summit intro, they used to have the clockwork on top of a mountain, so uh, for that reason, I'm going to go for now. Um, I see. Shit. Gunner's just walked into three of them. Run, Gunner, save me. Oh, no, Run. he's level X mark. I mean, he's level X first, which is kind of crazy, but uh, nevertheless, he's going to secure them this kill onto Gunner, and that will be your first blood going to the Shadow Fiend. Is that worth it? Getting Oops. X marks with spot. So not going to have that TP yeah. from Lalas. But yeah, what you said about Miracle. This hero is probably the most broken it ever was and probably ever will be. And Miracle is a really good Shadow Fiend player. I still remember his Blink Yules gameplay back in the day. And as I'm saying that, Miracle. Yeah, he's uh, getting a little bit deaded here, unfortunately. Standing around with some raises. And uh, Gunner's going to uh, take a good chunk of damage from the triple raise, but Fly comes in from behind the tower to make sure this kill goes their way. Nice rotation using those gates and getting him out. I feel like they honestly had him even without Fly if they just commit to it. Clock at this point in the game used to be able to solo an SF. You know, you get level 2 battery assault, you find him somewhere, you just kill him off. But. Uh, just the fact that you build into Power Stress Dragonlance makes you extremely tanky. Mid lane? Middle lane, they're going on to copy here. He's going to be dragged back into the cooling as GH is here as well to finish the job with a nice little volley Yuma. across, but Yuma's coming. He wants a bit of revenge and he will find at least GH here. Don't think they'll be finding anybody else on their Lelis. He's on top of some mail here. Gets on top of him. The body box coming through as well. Yuma gets distracted by the farm though because he's <laughs> a carry mean... player and he cannot stay focused. I mean, yeah, you have to, you can't stay focused, you need, you need to hit those creeps, man. They're like, uh, mud to the flame, you know? But when it comes Literally. to, when it comes to Sumail, I, I love the body blocks from Lelis. Like, this is the Kunkka with double bracers, sir. He's got 1400. Miracle, however, might be dead here once again. He's running, he's running. Gunner's not giving up, and the bird is just gonna keep on coming down. It's gonna net him that kill, so a nice kill from Gunner there, pre level six. Very yeah. impressive. Gunner's Beast, Beastmaster so far for me has been the most impressive out of all of his heroes. I feel like he always finds farm, always gets uh, gets a lot of impact, top lane. Yeah, the fight taking place right now. Noob even using the uh, cogs of fly to bounce around and stay on top of Yuma and bring him down. Luna has gone as the well, galaxy just collapsed, a lot of heroes onto him. Yeah, Lelis trying to run himself into the creep wave here. No points in Scary, though. Going to make it very, very hard for him to get away. Turns around with the bushwhack, but a bunch of shots connecting on him. Lelis will fall yeah. as well. It looks like both of these offlaners, Barclay and Gunner, might be caught here by the Sepunka. Oh, oh, he's looking, he's looking, but he's not finding it now. The roar comes out from Gunner instead. It's going to go defensive or aggressive. Aggressive is a play. They're going to follow up here with Fly coming out. The male still healthy for now, though. And the boat's going to come down. Sonic Wave, it is enough to kill him. Just about Fly catches him with the cog. And the male goes down. It is a trade. Fly for the male, which hasn't been able to just completely go crazy in this one. Let's just see this replay here of the Kunkka getting jumped. So close to surviving this one, by the way. It was really yeah, interesting miracle. watching the... Um, oh, yeah, going back to live, and Miracle is in a lot of trouble here. The Roars come down. He's going to try and get off the Requiem. We'll be able to do so. Now he's going to look for the turnaround here onto Gunner. I think he kind of has to, because if he doesn't, Gunner's going to take him down with the Deadshot coming through. Miracle can get the kill, and Gunner's going to fall. Lelis as well, also being taken off on by the sidelines by the Kunkka. We have to say, though, Hoodwink is level 5 still, 12 minutes in. So they didn't have that sharp shooter to play with. And that probably would have been enough. Mid lane. Yeah, they're just throwing around GH here and uh, should be getting the kill. Eclipse comes through just to make sure. And that gives you a nice excuse to go back to farming as Noob looking to just follow up on the kill on to fly here. And they will be able to make that trade happen. Yeah, one hero that's kind of falling behind is Copy, and look at his quick buy, by the way. Look at what he's going for. Yeah, they want to change. Yeah, they want to change this. You see Quop and Luna are joining. Yeah, but why is the question? Well, the Sonic Wave comes ripping through. Not enough to bring down Omar, though. Noob also okay for now, though. He gets stunned up, and they just turn around and take him down. The roar was there from Gunner. 
and uh, with the Luna parked right in front of him, that's going to be an easy kill. Another move over towards the male as well. So the male could be in trouble here. Miracle's nearby though. He's got the Requiem and he's going to use it, but now it's the incoming and just back themselves away. Still trying to pepper away at Miracle and Miracle just trying to be uh, oh, his boy guard. Oh, but Coffee Coffee. jumps in and finds him. He's got the damage with the Dagon. Didn't buy the Midas after all. Hallelujah. And that might have just turned this one around for them, but Coffee getting very low. Silence up. Taken down the cooling. It's too annoying for him to deal with and the rest of the team could not dive past Miracle to help him out. Miracle just sitting here with the BKB as well, making sure that yep. uh, Nouns back themselves away. One thing the Tesla needs, he needs control, and they don't have it. He needs to. But a normal Luna game, he's probably just still farming, getting this BKB up. Short lane. The only thunder has been used here by noobs. He's trying to bring down Lelis. Fly's going to try and make that difficult for him. And now with the Eclipse coming through, Yuma it's says, bad. not my support, sir. And Gunner comes in here onto Samael, getting them another kill. Yuma just gets queued up for a double. And he's pinging. He's, he, he thinks she's Shadow Fiend at the hip at this point. Ah, oh, he's, he's doing so, They have to bail now. Yeah. Without that BKB on SF, you're just not going to take this fight. They run away. And uh, you could see, even in this engagement, when they went on Pango, just how little damage Luna is dealing. I mean, she's dealing a lot, but Hookshot, on Staff, Miracle. Yeah, Copy's but wave comes though. down, but Copy's just right click to death, but they should be able to finish the kill into Miracle regardless. Gunner is going to come in and chop him up with Yuma. Yeah, a little bit disconnected there from Nouns does lead to Copy going down. Yeah, they, they got more yeah, gold. Hopefully doesn't Sonic wave this way. I hope he didn't die either. I'd say... There are a few heroes around. I think the galaxy seem to be overreading the situation a little bit here. Four heroes smoked up behind Noob. But Copy is completely alone. Yeah, there's I wonder if they've more. read this. If Copy dies here. It's actually pretty bad because Roshan is close to respawning. Copy just going to go for the BKB, but he can't stick around. He's got no blink. He's just going to die. Oh dear. Roshan, well, it is going to give Copy a chance to respawn, but. It all depends on nouns and how they're able to play out the next 60 seconds whilst their mid laner is dead. Yeah. In this game, at least. And it, it, it's difficult. I mean, this this time it doesn't really mean a whole lot. Um, Roshan did end up spawning longer. But I think the Galaxy have just been really enjoying Twin Gate. They've just been going in and out, in and out. So up to the top side, down to the bottom side. They've been having a good yeah, time. This wraparound might be good from nouns. Yeah, they need to just delay a little bit though. Quop isn't quite here, and I, you really want it to be here for the engagement, but it doesn't matter. They're just going to go on to Omar straight away, but Fly is just completely eviscerated, and Omar does get the pierce for Veil off, and now Nouns, they're the ones on the run. Lelis will not be escaping, though he does get bought down. Yuma still trying to poke and front here, but he's in some trouble. He's going to get caught by everybody. Can't get off the BKB. Oh no! Yuma, BKB out, but dead. Taken down immediately afterwards. Copy on the sidelines, just needs to run. He's going to be able to do that. Blinks himself away. But everybody else is in a horrible situation here as it does look like they're going to be able to run down more. Gunner's going to be the number one target. Public Excellent. enemy number one. Blink away with the BKB, with the TP, and Gunner should be all right. Yeah, no basher <laughs> or noob, so can't really cancel that one. Has it queued up? Uh, yeah, but the disaster Radiant fight for now. And the buyback attack. from Fly. Miracle. Advantage. Aegis mm. on the Conquer. Miracle. He didn't take it because he doesn't care. He's got himself a butterfly and a satanic. So more than happy to just go up this high ground, start hitting buildings. Does, doesn't that give them like maybe an opening on Nouns? Like if you can jump on this death step and blow him up somehow? Well, they're jumping on this death step to try and blow him up somehow. And they do have the damage to do it. He's gone, but what's it going to cost them? Fly's already dead, and Luna's also looking at a lot of trouble on the front lines as well. Tries to bot Satanic, but doesn't get a hit off. She is gone, so it is just a train. Carry for carry. They get the Aegis, but the Conker's coming back in just a second anyway. As Copy trying to fight up with Noob. Noob for starving himself out, though. Gonna be okay. As Lelis throws out the Gleipnir. So hard to do without your resources right now. Those are drag gonna back Gunner. into GH, and GH can bring him down. Samael still with the BKB. He hasn't used his entire time, because he had the Aegis. They didn't need to, and the first life is going to come back from the dead jumps above some else some just gonna tp out of this one enigma they're gonna back themselves away what do they get out of this a buyback on gunner and one ranged barrack hmm. yeah it, it's not like a massive loss from for enigma yeah, but yep. I, 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 honestly i do feel that this is anyone's game now like with that Aegis, i thought that they uh they were fully in control but double now damage all... luna holy mm -hmm. this is scary 
We haven't we seen a fight where it. Yuma's been able to actually get off his damage in these engagements, but this could be... Oh, what the hell? Where did GH go? Now the damage comes on to Omar, but the roar is there. On to the Pangolier and Yuma just trying to stand his ground. BKB eclipses down, trying to just stand here and hit Miracle. Miracle's just going to turn around and hit him back, though. The Requiem comes down, though, and that's going to stop Yuma in his tracks. And just lands get beaten down, hit by Miracle. Yuma, though, pops the arms. It doesn't matter. Miracle takes him down regardless. The clicks are just too strong. He had all his resources up, whilst Luna had already gone through theirs. And meanwhile, the rest of the team's gone as well. There is no gunner. There is no copy. This might be it for Nouns. Yeah, this is... They have the buyback on Luna, but I sincerely doubt that the two of them can defend straight onto the throne once again by Shadowfiend. A very different fight in which he saved the BKB for a bit later. He had that Satanic to work with, and then he used Requiem on the Luna after her BKB was done. Oh, Lelis, gotta be careful, those crit hurt. But they, they can't just stand by and yeah. watch this. They need to do something, but there's nothing really to be done. The game's just over, really. Game's and over. now with Lelis going down, trying to buy back into it, oh, they get the nice oh, four oh. man, nice <laughs> four man, but they don't have the Luna alive to finish the job, so. Uh, there was a chance. There was a chance if Luna was healthier, they could have just done some crazy shit there. But it doesn't happen. Name of Galaxy take the win, and uh, we'll be them getting the uh, the 1 0, at least in the moment, over Nouns. Yep. Obviously, the uh, the Coddle Storm combo very, very strong. And we'll see how they're able to play the map with that one as we jump into game number two of Nouns versus Enigma. The creep keeps the aggro, so he doesn't get hit by, by Storm. Kind of cool play. Yeah. Well, they're pretty good here, honestly. Uh, not struggling into the copy matchup. And uh, yeah, the counter fortification also causing some issues for copy now as uh, he was unable to go his creeps and it just takes a ton of yep. damage for them in the process. That kind of hurt. Yeah, Lion is top, uh, rotating top and Sumail needs to actually be careful here. Certainly does. There's damage coming through onto the Storm Spirit, and that'll be your first blood. Lelis gets him with the right click. Storm, well, he goes down, and now Copy is also going to follow him to the grave as Omar comes across as well with the Shockwave, and now GH and Omar can just run down Lelis. Fly is here. He's going to be too late to save his teammate. I uh, don't think he has the damage to bring down Omar, but Magnus is far too tanky. They're moving here, Lelis and Fly onto Miracle in the jungle. They might have just been able to get on top of him here. Blood Grenade available from Fly. Doesn't throw it out, though. A little bit cautious to fully commit to this one and now being dragged back into Miracle by Omar. The Nygma Galaxy supports were just already here to keep mm -hmm. Miracle nice and safe. Yeah, these two supports that they have are kind of wonky and hard to execute with, but they're making it work. Like, Omar has been... Uh, skewering people regularly, like, and uh, he's had some impact, and now he's gonna die at the moment I start talking about him. Sorry, Omar. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, that's yeah. on you. Uh, they were a good distraction for Storm, though. Yeah, smell with sticks and this uh, this haste rune will get on top, and with Copy missing the Fisher as well, that is gonna steal Lelis's fate. Quite a lot. It is quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, Lelis. It is getting jumped right now. Immediate Hex comes out from him, though. Like, great oh, quick echo. fingers on Lelis. Is it going to make a difference, though, as they'll try and bring down Noob on the same time as well? But Noob gets off the ultimate. And now, on the side, Yuma pops the Eclipse. Trying to bring out Samel. Samel, very low on mana. He's going to get a little bit back. And will that get him to safety? Looks like it might. Eclipse is there, but there's not enough damage. Samel gets... Okay, we're early in the game. Copy does not have the damage to drop somebody unless there's at least a couple nearby. GH oh, is oh, going to be seen maybe. here. Yeah, they'll they'll just take this one. Fisher is out. The kill comes in. Yep. I like at this point, you're uh, you're just not active enough. You pop that RP, you maybe get a good kill. But what are you doing in the next two minutes with that cooldown? I really like this war position here from GH. Actually, this is. Oh, hold on. I'll jump on to fly here. Noob is with him as well, just to make sure they can get this kill. And they shall. Oh, yeah, if you look at this little um, this little observer ward here, now it's, it's less easy to uh, to kind of illustrate now that he's taken the um, watcher near where Noob is farming. It's a dangerous bait. Yeah. It, like, I, I get it, but it's a very dangerous bait. Omar might be the one instead. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. They do get it, but I mean, what's the cost going to be? And the, co the answer is copy. Copy's just gone. The damage comes out way too much. Lair's going to fall as well. So uh, the track is trap is sprung. 
very successfully. Yep. Very nice from Nick and Galaxy. Yeah, if if this trap was on Miracle and they kill Miracle for two, I I think then it kind of worth it. But you just kill a support Magnus, who cares, you know? And you lost your mid and your support. Definitely completed. Yeah, the eggs is definitely nice. Bit more mobility in the fight. Closing gaps as the Hex comes out onto Omar again. They, they're very hesitant to go for that. Never mind, they're not hesitant at all. They'll jump on him and kill him. Boink. Yep. Oh, careful, Coffee. Does get caught here by the Requiem. The, they, oh, they thought they were getting the Lunar Illusion. Nicely done by Yuma. Very nicely done indeed. In fact, the Fisher kind of making things a little bit awkward. The BKB comes out for a miracle as Coffee's just going to get clicked down. Yuma fighting up with the Eclipse. Another roar comes out onto the mail. That's going to be another kill going the way of now. It's another can move over towards Miracle as BKB ends and as will his life. Three dead on the side of Nick the Galaxy. Only losing Coffee on the side of Nouns. Yeah, Noob will be able to TP out, Luna was very... And uh, he's had this blink for quite some time. Gunner, no BKB on him as well. Yeah, he's just a little bit dead, isn't he? Although Yuma coming in, looking to turn this one around. Eclipse is coming down, they're trying to defend. Gunner, Gunner pops the one, turns around with the roar, and the slam is there. No RP for you, Omar. Noob's gone as well. They'll finally finish the kill onto Gunner, but the cost is very, very oh, high. Him. Copy looking for more, so mail's very low, but they're actually back themselves away for now. Oh, so yeah. quick copy with that slam. They try to jump in for the RP, but just instantly caught out. Yep, yep. He traded your position he, four for a creep. Yep. He did, he did break some smoke so far, so that's good. Let's see, yeah, they are wrapping around. Well. Yep, yeah. No, you can't, you need a hero. Ruiz, the male jumps oh, forward, no. copies a put in, the roar RP. is there, RP, on to three, oh, it's very, very good, the follow-up is going to come in from Nick Galaxy as they take down, well, Gunner getting very low, does lose his life in the end, and Yuma now has that Aegis still, so doesn't really want to pop the BKB immediately, but she's running out of teammates very quickly indeed. Copy's gonna need to come back in and he does a buyback from the lion to back into this one as well. They'll look over towards Noob. That's gonna be their target. Eclipse coming down just to allow them to make sure they get this kill on to that uh, Angolier. And yeah, GH also gonna fall in this one. Yim with all that bonus damage as well. Just gonna rip through the two of them. Honestly, this fight was still bad for Nigma, but at least they got some kills and they only got them because of Omar and his RP. So it was great. All three fours. All three cores, they just didn't have enough damage, unfortunately. They couldn't take anyone down. And they do kill the Beastmaster, but uh, Luna... What can you do exactly to this Luna hitting your high ground right now? I guess they're gonna fall back soon, right? Like Storm is up to 15. No Aegis. BKB is available though, so maybe they just want to force the barracks. Oh! Um... Yeah, Steph is in a bit of trouble here. I'm oh. gonna force them back and just trade his life. <laughs> he just gets caught in the blender. The red blender of Yuma. How many points we got into in power now? Okay, two. 24% bonus damage onto Miracles, no joke. Quite a lot, yeah, quite a lot. He's dealing like 500 damage a pop. Well, is. He's dangling a little too aggressively here. Copy trying to just stay in the tree lines. Seeing if he can get a good opportunity for a slam here, but he needs to force out some BKBs first. And they've already lost Fly. They might just want to back themselves away from this one. Gunner's still hanging around as well, though. It's a little awkward as uh, Yuma did just kill off GH on the sidelines with an Eclipse. Okay. Oh, Omar. Yeah, I managed just to TP up. I'm torn. Do you want. Butterfly on Miracle, or do you want the... Oh, hold on. RP out onto Gunner into the Requiem. It's cute, and it will be enough damage to bring him down. Just practice the combo for later. Illusion never ends. This is how I feel. What did that mean? <laughs> Nothing, <laughs> Midlane. <laughs> the noob is dead. <laughs> Um, Yuma taking heavy hits from Miracle here. He's got to be a little careful. Shadow Blade out. Full Silver Edge, actually. Now you're going to blink forward with the dust. Correct yourself or something, but... Yeah, you went with... You went with... I'm torn, so... You know, my bad. <laughs> I see, okay. Yeah, yeah. Face palms in the chat. I'll, I'll accept it. Uh, 
It's green. Hex out onto the mail. It's a great target. If they can find the damage to follow up with, and Yuma is here, Ooh. and it is enough. The crit is there before he gets the zip. Oh, what a good timing on that crit. JH will be able to grab the gem at least, but it does not bring your storm back to life. He is gone. These, hero, these heroes have so much burst. Sturge, Kanda, with Enchanted Quiver, by the way, on Luna. Like, she, every time she hits Boost and Beam, it's literally a finger of Look at her, look at her, look at her. Ooh, yeah, ooh, he, he wants ooh. it, he wants hey, buddy. it. Do I want to come close enough? Galaxy, they seem to know. They're like, yeah, we're not. What the? Yuma, this is... Dang. Yeah. But he... Oh! Oh! Slam onto the two of them under the tier fours. It's going to get them at least one. Noob's going to go down, and Omar doesn't get off the RP. Also falling. No buyback. You with the BKB, though, have to be a little bit careful. My god, the Shadow Fiend. He still slaps. He still claps. You mail. still got to throw away, but the mail is gone. The damage from losing me from the low ground. Now they're going to surround Miracle. Get on top of him and take him down. He's got no BKB, so how can he fight? Well, the answer is just by clicking Gunner down. No one's coming to help Gunner. No one's there for him. Oh, Omar RP is nothing. Why not? As they move in, over towards copy copy right click will find him and kill him it's a crit just for good measure and a triple kill for miracle on the high ground yeah i mean miracle just following this game at this point anyone else anyone else wants there should just be nouns like feeling very confident but after that last fight you know miracle's such a beast if you can get sages i think the game's just gonna feel extremely even can you take this i feel like you can't storm is showing mid Ooh, yeah they're gonna come in, but I think they might be too late. Miracle, he's gonna finish it off. Le oh, leaves, was, leaves the Aegis. Mail. Leaves the Aegis. What? The mail comes in around the side. He's gonna survive as Miracle picks up the Aegis for some reason. They really wanted to leave it for the mail, but yeah, almost getting caught out there. Oh, what a mess. Instead, the Lattice is the one who's gonna go down here as they'll grab the Luna over to the side, but can't finish her off. Requiem comes down just to try and finish off the kill and to fly. Fly will fall as well, and it looks like it's gonna be Nygma's fight. They're looking in for more. Is there any turnaround potential? They just don't have the spells. They don't have the damage. They don't have the BKBs, or maybe they do. Miracle BKB comes in for him before the stun lands from Copy as Yuma once again, just trying Dunner. to keep his distance. But don't forget, they have this Aegis on Noob now as well, so he's happy just stand on the front lines. Yuma trying to go man to man with Miracle, but he's they have having second thoughts about it. His Satanic is off cooldown, but Miracle never even got low enough to use his. Yeah, by the way, Storm isn't even thinking about rejoining. He's still out pushing the base. So this is basically 2v3. Echo comes in, but not really doing a whole lot. Again, <laughs> you see Miracle is taking no damage from anything at this point. They'll keep stunning him up. They'll keep asking him to stop. He ain't listening. What are you buying? An MKB or a Rapier at this oh, point? Okay, you you're really looking for that Storm, looking for that Magnus. Oh, they're Sorry. going all the way back. Okay, Mail is going to show here. Oh, they just wrapped all the way around. I don't think he understands. Yeah. He doesn't jump in. Slam comes down. They'll find him. They'll kill him. See you later, Mail. But, I mean, do they go for the high ground here, Miracle? No. No, no, no. They're just going to TP themselves back very quickly. We'll see. Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe I'm wrong and this Beastmaster kicks off. No, uh, I agree. I think both are good but beastmaster as well if he jumps this that that and which he will be doing most likely now oh, they know exactly where they are these axes are giving everything away <laughs> yeah this is not leaving much to the imagination do they care though jump onto the oh, high ground i'll be onto two they managed to get the both of them are they ready with the requiem yes they are the damage comes in and lelis is just gone aegis as well also down this is going to force nouns in very very deep but they will follow up on that the slam comes in the stuns are out miracle he stopped for a second but now he comes out and just starts blasting away at the luna good night yuma everybody else just has to leave flies not going to get that luxury so he's going to get killed off blink on the sidelines oh, has got to try to leave they get one kill on the exit at the very least it's Copy just jumps in and brings down Omar, but man, that was a great fight for Nygma Galaxy. Sumail just didn't have enough mana. Who, who got hit by RP twice? Oh, <laughs> copy. Jesus. Two. Double I buyback. Coming out here. Yeah, Miracle hitting on the tier threes. Hello, sir. Does he go for the. Uh, they just fortified. That might be a fatal mistake. They do have buybacks, though. Yeah, he's going for Throne. He has to be careful here. It's get very here. interesting here. Yeah. yeah, they got heroes respawning. It's, it's not going to be over yet, but... Miracle, we know he loves these tier 4s. The barrack is about to fall to the creeps, which will mean that they get that fortification back. 
which is a blessing. Oh, Gunner jumps in. Roy's just gone. Bye bye, Miracle. They'll look over towards the male as well. It's the male with the BKB. Still trying to go aggressive. Still trying Stay to get back. some supports. If you get some kills here, then yeah, Miracle coming back in on this. This is a bit bold here from Nick Galaxy, but screw it. Fortune favors it as Gunner getting taken down Give slowly, but surely he has gone buyback from him. Copy indeed. Trying to finish off the male. Can't quite do so. Needs to keep his distance. Miracle picks up his Divine Rapier once again and just starts laying into Gunner and Yuma. Gunner is not going to die, though. He gets away. The stun out Miracle. He pulled back and now he's dead. The team can't come in and help him. The boss has been defeated. Everybody lying down on the side of Nigma right now. They'll try and defend without their Shadow Fiend, but I just don't think that's possible. 110 <laughs> seconds. It yeah, should be it. This should be it, but thank you. I just want to extend my gratitude to Nigma and to now to get to the rapier, but he can't because the fissure is blocking him. <laughs> and then he wastes basically all of his BKB just trying to get to the rapier. And by the time he gets it, yeah, BKB is out and he's dead. All right, fortify years, and it's the only one they'll get. Not much to happen here, really. Samel jumping onto the Luna. Luna getting pretty low pressure from Samel. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot. That's a lot. Fly's already gone. Raw comes out, though, onto Samel. Surely Samel should be falling for good here. The slam to follow up as well. Yeah. Just kidding, guys. They will be ending right now. A cute attempt with the refresher there on Samel, but uh, not enough to turn the game around. And Nouns will take game number two. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. I'm kind of happy these two teams uh, split. Uh, the series in the end as well because